Hi, my name is Sydney, and this week we went over Unit 1 of our History of Psychology course, where we read Chapter 1, which discussed why it's important to study history of psychology, and then some areas where there are fallacies in studying and writing history, such as presentism, internal and personalistic approaches. Um, and after reading those things, I took a little an opportunity to do a little bit more research and I found a TED Talk video of this girl named Abby Kaysen and she discusses presentism. And much like the textbook described presentism as interpreting the past in terms of present beliefs, morals, and knowledge, um, she discusses it as well with the same mindset of morals change over time and they're not always unified or consistent. And she even states morality can undergo a revolution within a generation. Um, Presentism is a common fallacy in uh, historical writing and applying it's applying judgment to an earlier date and approaching the past with current beliefs, morals, and knowledge um, and wondering what people were thinking in the past and why they made the choices that they did or why they made the mistakes that they did with our current knowledge or, or beliefs or morals instead of looking at what they might have thought or believed back then and really choosing to look at the whole picture and you know instead of just looking at it from our perspective. Uh, Abby argues however for presentism she states to take notes of the past with the purpose of applying it to the future therein must lie judgment. So looking at the past you are looking at it in order to learn from it and to to not make the same mistakes that maybe someone in the past did and therefore you have to kind of judge it you have to not just look at it um, trying to see it from their perspective and thinking, oh, okay, maybe they were right, but also looking at it and judging them a little bit, thinking, how did they make mistakes and how can I not make the same mistakes? And within the history of psychology, we utilize that a lot since much of our history is new and much of our history is, is very young. Um, and there's been a lot of lack of unity and a lot of different theories and a lot of different theorists that kind of learning from each of their mistakes or each of their theories that may or may not didn't may or may not have worked or didn't line up with how now things are are going um, is important for your psychology um, not making the same breakthrough discoveries that didn't work or same treatment plans that we know now just cause more damage like lobotomies choosing to to learn from our past mistakes and and kind of judge it in a way but not uh, in a presentism aspect, but just trying to learn from the past. And that's the purpose of history of psychology in a nutshell. All right, thanks.